Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm in a new environment, a new place to play, a new court. What should I be looking for? Man, there's a tree over there. Man, the sun's in my eye. Oh, stay tuned. All right, so my buddy Patrick invited me out here to play, and uh, this is his kind of home court, like where his team plays, team practices are, and uh, I'm trying to get acclimated into here, and I see we're on this particular court that we were assigned. There's a tree over there. The sun is in my face on this side. I could feel the wind behind me. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, new place. Should I be nervous? Well, let's hit some balls. So Patrick, this is your home court. My first time playing um, in the area. And have you played on this particular court before? Right, so what had happened is they just resurfaced. So I've been playing here for a few years now, but they just resurfaced this past in the past six months. Mm -hmm. And they actually put in the plexi. Oh, yeah. plexi so cushion. These are actually okay. plexi, not, not as plush as you see over there in Marin. Right, right, but right. there is a little bounce, right. but not as much. So it's probably one of those uh, lesser grades, okay. but they just put it in and it does play a lot different, more different than what they had in the past. So this was put in, you were telling me October. Yeah. Right? I think they just okay. finished right around the end of October. So right now there's still, as you can see, there's no chairs because they're asking us not to put chairs down just in case we dent any areas yet. Got it. Should take like a month to cure, but this is like, yeah. we're getting to the third month or so. Well, we're also in the winter. And so it's it may really not been, cure. It's been really cold and wet. Yeah. <laughs> so you were saying that it was going to be slower. Um, I didn't really see that that much. I mean, the balls that I saw on that side, um, when, you know, when you struck the ball, definitely it hit and then came to me. When you kind of miss hit the ball, I was like, like this, I waited and just to see what would happen. And it still came to me. Right. So, so maybe I'm using the wrong definitions because to me, when I'm playing here and I get a bounce, I feel like I have a lot more time to get to that ball. Mm. So maybe the springiness is making it bounce more than it should. Yeah, no, I maybe know what that's you mean. It, so it like, continues. I don't know. When I've had plexi cushion on a new before, and it, it wasn't like that. It, it, I know exactly what you're saying. Like when it hits, it would be like slow motion coming up. Yeah. And then you're like, like holding yourself back not to like run at it and strike it as hard as you can right. so um and that i did not feel that over there okay it could also be that the one thing i noticed was there's kind of a swirly wind yeah. here um and on that side the winds 
at your back coming at me. So it's coming at me. Yeah. Therefore, it's got a tailwind coming at me there. Um, when I switched to this side, I felt like I was hitting into... It was kind of weird. I was hitting into the wind on this side coming here. And then on this side, I was... I had a tailwind, so that's that's right, that's right. But I felt more comfortable here for some reason. It's it's the way the the court is kind of sloped. Yeah, I think. and I think it's also lighting too. <laughs> oh, the lighting. Half, that's half true. the courts in the shade in this this particular court. That's right. Yeah, so it's kind of funky, but I just feel overall the surface. When I said it was slower, it's because I just feel like I had more time to get to the ball. Right, again, right. No, I get it. To other I totally get lighting. it. I felt like I had more time on this side, maybe because. The sun is beaming down on here. There's a tree shadow right in the middle of the court too. And the, the tree shadow was like here when we started. Right. Like kind of right down in the middle. And it was like, oh. Um, now, how much does weather affect this? Since it's, since it's plexi, there is like that layer of a little bit of sponginess mm -hmm, in here. Mm -hmm. It's been really cold. Right. Rained all day yesterday. Right. So... Is there more moisture on that surface, on that half, than this half? Because this half's been in the sun for the last That's true. Hours. It's been drying off, right? So that that might be firmer because it's colder and right. harder. The sun's been beaming here. Therefore, it could be softer. So I was more comfortable hitting here. Where were you more comfortable hitting? I was, I well, I think for me personally, I like being on this side because there's more light. Okay, yeah. But I think this side... I tended to have, yeah, maybe just a skillish more time. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know. It could definitely be the surface. I mean, we were talking about it earlier that mm -hmm. I've, I've had a chance to play a lot of different surfaces. Right, right. I even got to play in Mexico where there was a textured concrete because there's so much dust in the air that they'll be sweeping every other every other oh, point. Wow. So they textured the concrete, but that just gripped the felt and every ball just hit and bounce straight up right 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 so to me that's a slower court but it's not right but it's just because the ball doesn't get to you right mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it bounces and goes straight up and then there's another court out here in the area where it's smooth concrete and then they paint it but i think they put grit in the paint okay but it's been years now so now it's really slick so it skids now the when ball it totally skids right? yeah 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 so it's, it's interesting to nerd out on actual court surfaces because I'm old, I'm fat, <laughs> and I play against a lot of young guys. I need every advantage I can get. Right. So if I know the court is going to play a specific way, I will change how I play. Right. Like I'll hit more drop shots. I'll hit more drop shots by the second set because the balls are deader. Right, right, right. Right. That's so true. why not do that with the court too? That's true. So in Mexico, everything was drop shots, knowing the ball was going to bounce straight up. That's true. They weren't going to get to it. Yep. You know. So, I feel this is I'm doing this because I feel the wind hitting me in the back. Yeah, it's coming. It's definitely so, coming this so way. So the wind is going this yeah. way. The sun is up here though. So if you're serving from here, you're looking right into the sun. Yeah. So I would probably I would rather serve from that side, but hit on this side. Right. Well, you, you're gonna have more time over here, right? Because yeah. the ball's slowing down. But then with the drier court, well, if it is more moisture over there, right? How's it gonna react? True. True. Right. It's going to react differently. So here's the thing. If we do a toss right now and you won the toss, what would you choose to do? If I would, a lot of times I like to defer to the opponent and force them so I could pick my side first. Exactly. So yeah. which side would you choose? I would actually pick this side first, knowing I'm going to serve first over there. There you go. See? Yeah. Know your conditions, right? Like pick the side. Sun's there, right? You want to serve from over there. Right. That's just logical. Um, I'm looking also there's windscreens here. Nothing really here. There's a half a windscreen there. Um, yeah. There's a lot of leaves on the court also. And this to me looks like a short net. I don't know that for a fact, but it looks to me like <laughs> a short look a net. Low. Uh, so, yeah. So I mean I'm I'm looking at these little things. I mean if I need if I need to do something uh, on the run, I'm clearing through the middle for right. sure. And and I know that, or I have a little more confidence on this short net that it's going to get right. over. 
And now if, if your opponents or you want to be very honorable, you go and you measure it and you right. have your stick and whatnot. But um, a good, good case in point in this, like knowing your corpse, most of the matches are played on the corpse right here up the middle. Okay. And if you notice that court in the front, which is our kind of center court, right. there's no fence on one side. Okay. Right? Okay. So you're getting no wind blockage if it's windy. Got it. But the number one thing is when this sun comes through, yep. if you're playing a twilight match, that sun is right behind that building oh, and right. it's coming right through the, the channel there. Got and it. And there's no possible chance of a wind or sunscreen. Got it. Got it. So, got it. Like, yeah, always know your space, right? right? And you'd be surprised what kind of advantages you can get to win, win points without trying. Exactly. Right. So with the wind coming this way... I'm probably gonna throw up a lob um, on the lighter side here because it's probably gonna carry. I'll pro on that side, I'll probably have to hit it a little firmer so that it doesn't fall short. Right, so you think about, <laughs> right now it's about mid midday. Right. And the sun's here. So if I'm, even though the wind's going this way, that person has more confidence that mm -hmm. the lob's gonna Coming stay this in. Way. Yep. And then they can't see with yeah, the sun. Right in the sun, yep. Right. So you play to that advantage. Exactly. Right? exactly. And then maybe on the opposite side, because that side stays in the shadows. Right. Maybe you try to hit deep on them. Right. Because the, the ball is going to change light exactly. when it's in the air. Yeah, I probably change speeds because we're going from light to dark and then it's kind of sparse in the light. So because it's in and out of the light so much, if I change speeds, I don't give them a consistent look of a ball. So I'll, I'll go fast, I'll go top, um, and then I'll, I'll throw a medium speed in there and then I'll slow yeah. it up just to, just so that they don't get into a rhythm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, but yeah, I would say like for me getting low, well, getting low for every tennis player is a must. And when you're on the shadow side, I also get a little lower because I want to see that horizon of the ball because I can't see it go from light, dark, light to dark. Right. So right. I'm actually, it actually helps me. I play probably play better there because I am getting lower. Right, and it's making you concentrate a little harder because you're low. Uh, yeah, because I can't, I can't the do level. the ball. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But like the first thing I did notice during our warm up was the balls like in short court, and then as I backed up, I was like, the ball's coming to me, which means um, it's not going to be slow. <laughs> Right. It's not right. going to be slow. I felt like it was actually slower coming on this side, even though, um, no, it was. It's yeah, right. Well, it's, the wind's coming this way. The wind's so coming this way. So it was bit. coming in. Yeah, yeah slowly yeah, now. Yeah. Just so I prefer tap. hitting that side. Yep, right, yep, right. Yep. And I could be missing more because I'm in the shadow. So oh, the true. ball's not coming as hard. Okay. <laughs> but, okay. Yeah. So when the, yeah, so when the, going back to it, when the courts were first put in, you know, everyone is excited. They had a little party to say, hey, new courts to play on. And everyone's excited about just having a new clean surface. Right. But, you know, you got to nerd out on the conditions and right. how they actually play. Yep. You're going to play matches here. Right. You know, and that's very important. Yeah. And these are nice courts, though. It looks like, brand yeah. new. They did a great job. And so, you know, the lights are going to be next. They're going to upgrade lights. Oh, LEDs are coming. Uh, I believe okay. so. And then, um, yeah. And then, like I said, the benches are going to come in once everything's cured out. And it's okay. going to be great. Cool. All right. Well, welcome to your home court. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Patrick, thank you for showing me around and uh, going over the what we need to do during, uh, you know, new going into a new place to play, you know, recognizing what the conditions are, the surfaces are, where the sun is, where the, the uh, wind is, where the freaking tree is. Uh, just recognizing these things will give you a better you know, hopefully better game right. into your favor. Yeah. So, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Hey, Coach. What's up, Barry? What you got there today? Oh, just wanted to try out the new whiteout, and then obviously got my blackout with some new strings in there. So, I want to test it out with you. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. All right. Um, what you got there, Coach? Oh, well, I mean, if we're going to test out your rackets today, I thought we'd just test out my rackets today. What do, you, what do you think? Sure, Coach. If you want that perfect coach or partner who is a racket junkie just like you, play your court is the place. 
They have over 27,000 players for you to choose from. It's all at playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis score.